This is music, straight up. And that's a good move right on to our topic. Our topic is YouTube tricks. Now, y'all listen to the title, y'all probably think, oh, I'm going to learn how to pimp YouTube. No, you're going to find out how YouTube, YouTube pimps, pimps you. <laughs> we sort of brought this up in a previous episode about how these gamers, gamer YouTube specifically, um, how they get games and stuff. A lot of people think like, oh, man, they worked hard and they built their shit up, man. Now they're getting free games from Atlas. No, that's their payment. Atlas gave you Persona 5 Royal to review. Wink, wink. <laughs> you know? And you better not shit on it or you might not get another. Um, they won't give you a scene. They don't want to give you a scene. Make to say five. You know? Wink, wink. You know? <laughs> so you better say something so you like it. So you better obey. Right. That's what these YouTubers do. If you're trying to get into YouTube, which we are not in YouTube. We're not YouTubers. We, our podcast is everywhere because we're never going to be fully relying on YouTube. You know why people rely on YouTube? It's because YouTube is free. YouTube, you can, you can upload literally an unlimited amount of stuff. You don't have a, a cap. You don't have the data to worry about. So people, instead of just branching out and doing, being on like iTunes, Spotify, and all that shit, oh, block. they only focus on YouTube because it's free, easy, and I don't have to worry about paying something. But the downside is you get copyright struck, your whole channel going, you fucked. You say one bad thing about somebody and your channel is gone. You got to walk this line on YouTube. Um, a lot of YouTubers, they hate being on YouTube now because YouTube ain't the same. YouTube back in the day, you can get paid off YouTube. Off these got paid. Shit. But they switched it up because they realized, damn, these fuckers are gaming the system. They're getting all money. And plus advertisers, they didn't want to advertise on YouTube because, you know, the PewDiePie shit and all that shit. Yeah. Like, White people were saying fuck shit, and then like they like, yeah, fuck all the, these um these Jews, and then they cut to a craft commercial. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, I don't want to be part of this. The like, craft's like, hey, we like back and forth. We don't like this anti-Semitic shit. Don't put that shit on. Shit, us. Don't put on ad on all this shit. So that's what happens. Um, advertisers crack down on YouTube. So YouTube like fuck. Okay, you can't all because of white boy. You can't. Fucking get monetization of money unless you got over this many views and this many subscribers. It's like, so that really fucks over a lot of new people trying to get on YouTube because people trying to join YouTube every day. Um, but the people really making the real money are the people who came in on ground zero first day type shit. Like 2006 when YouTube yeah. just started. Like that's the people who really win it. You have a few people who come in and they rise up real fast, but you gotta understand. Look at the content they drop. It's all hype driven. Yes. It's them bugging their eyes and fucking thumbnails and No, very with the arms being all, being all goofy. You know? I got a PS5. What? With a big five thousand dollar or five hundred I got it for one dollar PS5. Like, like it's all games. The whole YouTube is about literally working that street. You gotta better, you better sit on that corner and, and put that and put that the leg out and wait for some people to drive by. <laughs> and it might have you come and hop in their car real quick, you know. For a quickie. You know, for a quickie, and then they're going to dip out, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, that's real shit. Like, so you got to figure out some way to get attracted, get, get people, the, the men to be attracted to you on YouTube. <laughs> I'm, I'm using the prostitution analogy because that's what it is. You guys um, are, are fucking prostitutes. So you got you to gotta present yourself in a certain type of way. Well, YouTube don't like cursing and all that shit, so you can't curse. So you, you can't, cut you that can't shit drink out. on film. Right. You can't smoke weed on film. You can't. You can't do anything that's not family ready. friendly. Yes. Basically, you gotta be a family friendly YouTuber. Um, if you wanna go that route, more power to you. Do you? Go ahead. Um, I couldn't do it. Ah, not family friendly. But you can't hold your tongue for like certain shit. It's so many people on YouTube who just. They can't, they can't hang. They can't hang with the algorithm. They can't hang with making videos every week because you have, you're also a bitch to the algorithm. Like, you have to fucking drop videos three times a day. You got to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure... You're on a top page. Mm-hmm. You got to talk about the most topical things. Current events. You got to do all that shit just to stay... With events. Floating on YouTube. Um, I said it before, but... Man, go through YouTube and you'll find a YouTube video from one of your favorite YouTubers with an update. Hey guys, they all just struggle. Hey guys, I just, say, I'm just 
I'm just tired. I'm gonna have to take a month off because, like, this YouTube stuff. You know, they 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 are getting worn out. I wouldn't be surprised if these fucking cornball white people on YouTube they start suing YouTube because they stressed and they got mental uh, mental problems anguish because YouTube is forcing them to work with the algorithm. Like, I can't be the machine. Yeah, so stop. You can't be only focused on one thing, and you can't be only on YouTube. I'm telling y'all, man, you're just being hoes to YouTube. You're literally being pimped out by YouTube. And these, and these game, video game companies, they see the shit. Like, oh shit, why would we pay hundreds of, not hundreds, millions of dollars on marketing? We can just give five YouTubers who, who gets, you know, 100,000 views per episode. We just pay, you just give them a video game and that's our advertising right there. Like, give them three sacks and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's three, three, we don't have to pay them three games. Just give them a game. <laughs> the game gonna cost you, we, we got a million of these motherfuckers printed out. Just grab a few, give them to them. <laughs> these motherfuckers be happy. They think they're um, cool and hip because they, they're connected to us. <laughs> 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 they, they think we're partners. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nigga, you just got play. You just got pimped. And now you're promoting their shit. And you're you're you think you are like I'm I'm in the inside. Atlas hit me up and they said they want me to review their game. I'm like, no, Atlas hit you up because you get a lot of views. The algorithm says that you get a hundred thousand views or some shit. So we thought we will give you a game and we gonna make sure uh you're gonna pimp our shit out. Oh, and on the by the way, we got an embargo, so you can't bring up the this part of the game, this part of the game. This. Matter of fact, you can't bring up shit. Just say you like the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, no bullshit. Listen, listen to some YouTube sometimes. Listen to them um, give you a preview of a game and watch how they say, oh, it's an embargo. I can't talk about level two <laughs> of a video game, nigga. <laughs> no, I got a, I got a um, gag order. I can't talk about level one. Right. Listen to these motherfucking YouTubers who talk about the, how they, all these YouTubers got PS5s and Xbox Series S's. I, I ask them, um, listen to them. Watch they say, yeah, Sony said I can't show y'all the main menu. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas are fucking corny. If y'all are fucking, man, stop falling for this shit, man. Fuck, fuck all that shit. Like, don't let these fucking YouTube motherfuckers get you into thinking that you can coming up off YouTube. Only you gonna come up is by cooning or acting up on the phone. Or, or being cornball. Or just being on some gay shit. Like, no bullshit. Like, um, if you're a black dude doing makeup tutorials, <laughs> you heard what I said, a black dude <laughs> doing makeup tutorials, nigga. They love that shit. YouTube, uh, fucking, you'll be browsing up real quick. Gotta make sure you put on uh, him, he, him slash he, yeah, him slash he on your profile <laughs> info. Uh, Gotta put a little flag on her, too. Rainbow flag. <laughs> But yeah, no bullshit. Like, and even these YouTubers, they ain't grassroots. A lot of y'all don't understand. YouTubers, most of them work for production companies. Like, Rooster Teeth. You know Rooster Teeth? Yeah. That's a production company. You know who owned them? Who? Warner Brothers. Goddamn. And you know what other things Rooster Teeth own? Other little channels like Fun House and all these other motherfucking little small YouTube channels that get so many views. Like, damn, why the fuck this fucking video getting so many views? Like, damn, you feel like, oh, watch the end of some of these videos. They put pr- production company, blah, blah, blah. That ain't YouTube. That's just a show. You're literally in a studio and you have a marketing team. <laughs> you have PR. <laughs> Real YouTubers are niggas in their house looking at a webcam.